Hello YouTubers, this is Doom and Groom Report number 15. This one's going to talk about Israel and Iran, the recent conflict here. I want you to watch a video here. This is off Reuters here. The end times and World War III is going to start. Just a second. There's some pictures, folks, off Reuters and the UK site there. Some scary shit. Anyway, this is going to be solely de uh, devoted to this stuff. Of course, Iran, modern uh, in the Bible. Of course, modern day Iran, which was Syria, you know. And Russia, the kings of the north, were going to make the first move, you know. And the United States is nowhere in Bible prophecy because basically one hour made desolate, I believe, where Babylon, you know, the church is behind it too, you know, modern day Babylon. So here's the article. I want to read it. Iran test fires missiles in spite of U.S. Threat. Iran today test fired missiles in the Gulf for a second consecutive day, the Iranian state media reported. The tests are likely to infiltrate Israel and the U.S. who called on Iran to refrain from further tests after yesterday's war games. Deep in the Persian Gulf waters, the launch of different types of ground to sea surface to surface sea to air and a powerful launch of the Hout missiles um, successfully took place. State radio said without giving further details of the missiles, Iranian state TV and radio said the Revolutionary Guards had fired ground to sea surface to, to surface and sea to air missiles overnight. Long range missiles were also launched, Reuters reported. The maneuver brings power to the Islamic Republic of Iran and is a lesson for enemies, Grounds Commander in Chief Mohammed Al Jafari was quoted as saying. But Hold on a second. Hey, mouse. Come on, mouse. But the claims will be treated with caution after it emerged today that the media army of Revolutionary Guards apparently doctored a photograph of yesterday's test. An image that showed our missiles successfully launching was widely picked up by Western media. But an identical picture showed only three missiles firing, promoting allegations that the failure of one of the missiles had been covered up. The reports of new tests today came hours after the U.S. Secretary of State Gunneries warned Iran that the U.S. would respond to any aggression there. So the Gunneries are siding with Israel, which they should. We are sending a message to Iran that we will defend American interests and the interests of our allies, she said in Georgia. During a three-day trip to Eastern Europe, an initial agreement to the site the U.S. missile defense system vigorously reported by Russia and the Czech Republic was agreed. Rice said today that the system would make it more difficult for Iran to threaten and be the loose go and say terrible things because their missiles won't work. Reports from Tehran said yesterday's test included that of a new long range missile that could easily reach Israel. Um, Iran made clear that the operation was designed to show it capable to deliver a crushing response if attacked by the U.S. or Israel. Israel today showcased an advanced spy plane which could play a central role in directing any attack on Iran. Although an Israel aerospace industry spokesman said the timing of the decision to display the aircraft is completely constitutional. State run Israel aerospace industries plan an in-house exhibit of its interim airplane which is equipped with sophisticated intelligence gathering systems. Israel sees Iran as its greatest threat and exercised by the Israel military last month. It was considered to be a rehearsal for a potential strike against Iran's nuclear program. Which Tehran insists is peaceful and purely designed for power generations. Of course they're going to say that because they want to uh, use the, the policy of the France, all they always did for years, the Nazi or whatever it's called, 
which is basically isolationism and uh, negotiating through diplomacy, which never works throughout history. It proved with the hostage crisis years ago with Jimmy Carter back in 1979. You know, basically, you know, the fault of peace though in the Middle East, it's going to be a fault of peace contract. You got to remember that the final seven years of the tribulation, which I believe starting in the fall. The U.S. confirmed yesterday that it would continue to pursue a diplomatic solution to persuade Iran to abandon its nuclear program, which it fears it gears towards the production of weapons, but would not rule out a military option either. So basically, folks, what this is, is it's the beginning of the uh, rapture, which is going to happen soon. Rumors and rumors of war, just, just like the Bible said, you know. You can get all this information, you know, out of the book of Revelations, Ezekiel, Matthew, Daniel, Leviticus, there's so much, you know, in other areas throughout the Bible, you know, it talks about the end times, you know, we, we clearly are living in the end days, I mean, just watch the news, you know, you have a thousand people, you know, the Seminola scary, you know, in the United States, you know, a thousand people getting sick and stuff, scary crap, you know, other food too, they say now, making people sick, um, they all have weird weather in diverse places, you know, of course, you know, you have the floods going on, you know, and, uh, in, uh, like Iowa, Wisconsin, of course, after gay marriage was proposed, you don't hear much about it anymore. You had the fires, basically, that are lighting California up, you know, the wildfires, which are all signs of the end times as well. You know, there's, there's so much going on, you know, in the news, the Sharia law stuff, like I talked about, which I believe is connected with this stuff, too, you know, and uh, I was watching a video here on YouTube, it's really good. Um, it's off this one girl's site. Uh, if you all have to do is type Israel and Iran, you'll see it. This one uh, uh, from Minister Dan Muncy or whatever his name is, Mutsi. Um, he had a good report, three-parter on Israel and Iran that was posted on the internet in Russia. And it was talking about how Putin has been working behind the scenes since like 2002, 2005, supplying Iran with all this nuclear stuff and, and means. And it also talks about the old Ayatollah Khomeini back in 1979-80 when he was in power, when he was talking about how one day Islam and, and like Sharia law will conquer the whole world. That's the radical Wahhabi sect. Of course, not all Muslims are bad, but you know you gotta watch out the Mahad, all that stuff. You know the Antichrist. You know I believe is the the Mahad. You know and, and you know you have to choose between God and, and, uh, and Christianity versus like Islam and also all the other religions in the world which are evil too, like you know like Satanism, Buddhism and stuff that put God before the God. And uh, Maitreya too, which I believe is the Antichrist. I think the UN works behind the scenes, and they know who he is. The guy is behind the scenes working within the UN. And I believe Maitreya is the Antichrist. That's why they use energy, education, and the environment. They ultimately want to coll uh, collapse the U.S. economy, I believe, in doing this stuff. And uh, basically, uh, what will happen is if we go to war with Iran, unfortunately, because that's where all the oil is in our interest is, you can probably see gas as high as like 10 to $12 uh, a gallon, I would say. That's what I heard in this video because it was talking about uh, how it would probably drive oil at least over 200 to $300 of pipelines, various pipelines were destroyed. So, like it says in the Bible, you know, the beast of the field, I really believe pretty soon, the first horse, I believe, in, uh, in Revelation, you know, the four horsemen of the apocalypse was already released, the white horse where he went on a bow and rider on two quest. I believe that was 9-11 when that happened. I believe the second horse, the red horse, is about ready to be released, The one, and then the black horse shortly following which is going to release famine and plagues, pestilence, penny for a week's wage, you know, uh, war, you know, make men slay each other. I just believe it's all setting up to the tribulation period, which I believe could happen on Rosh Hashanah this year. I mean, just watch uh, Perry Stone. He's a very good minister, Perry Stone. Talks about it, you know, he's been over to Israel before and stuff. Talks about current end times events, and, you know. I really believe, though, that... Uh, because, like you said, uh, years ago, Iran used to be a lot of, like, friends with the United States, too. And, of course, a lot of these countries, they try to still make allies of I remember I saw something in the news the other day. Mom Stuff said it in his videos, too, which is true, you know. Um, our country, if you think of it, during uh, Iran, uh, during Russia, when we tore down the Iron Curtain years ago, back in, like, 1989, about 20 years back, we uh, supplied a lot of Afghanistan and Pakistan, the, tel uh, the Taliban, with weapons and stuff, which they ultimately used to destroy Russia, but then they used them against us. And I mean, recently they recuperated too, they've been saying in the media, I heard, I heard something a couple days ago on CNBC, how uh, Pakistan, we gave money to them again, I guess they ate and stuff, and basically how they somehow used uh, that money and the Taliban got a hold of some of it, and I guess that's how they recruited and stuff, they were retraining and stuff. So I believe that like the, the Illuminati and certain secret societies are all behind this. So, you know, remember, don't follow doctrines of man 
to follow doc the doctrine of Jesus Christ and not dogma doctrines of men because men in the church will only lead you down the path to hell, the highway to hell, so, uh, like ACDC song. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, good night and God bless and may God be with you at all times during these difficult times. So because we clearly are living in the end. So bye.